Parking lots are hard and dirty. This is what salmon drink in the first 30 minutes after you park your car. When the engine is still warm, if you have an oil leak, that's when it drips. And it adds up right here, just waiting for the first strong rain. This means two things. Number one, you should fix your car leak. Go to your favorite auto shop and get it fixed. Number two, we can build better parking lots. Puget Sound starts here. We know how to do this. The first thing to do is to cut out the old asphalt. Then dig down to make a deeper bed for water storage. The point is to be able to hold the rain on site and not let it run off. You want to make it like a miniature reservoir. Pour a concrete curb edge, it's like a frame, to hold the paver units in place. Spread really big gravel that has at least 40% void space so the water can fit in between. Add a bedding cord of finer aggregate to create a super flat surface for the papers. Lay out the pavers one by one. They fit tightly together with small interlocking tabs on all four sides. The tabs create gaps between the pavers so that water can infiltrate through, slowly, right here so that any pollutants like oil or antifreeze or engine grime doesn't just rush off into the nearest stream poisoning our environment. We can filter it right here. The gaps between the pavers are filled with small, clean aggregate and it all locks into place. It works. You could put in pavers at home, in your own driveway. Here's a few examples. Why stop with just your driveway at home? Here's what Fort Lewis did. Pendleton Boulevard. 